To understand what medians are, let's draw a triangle PQR. Take a point M on the segment QR such that QM is equals to MR, which means M is the midpoint of segment QR. Also, QR is the side opposite to the vertex P. So, we can define median as the line segment joining a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side that is called a median of the triangle. So here in this triangle, PM is one of the median of the triangle. So friends, in this new figure in triangle ABC, we have AD as one of the median and you can see here clearly that D is the midpoint because BD and CD both are 2.7 cm long. Now let's drag one of the vertices to see how it affects the figure. Now as I'm dragging the vertex A, you will notice that the point D is not at all moving. We can see here the length of the BC is fixed and that is why BD is equals to DC. Now I'm dragging the vertex B and you will notice that even if the shape and size of the triangle is changing, but every time we are getting the midpoint of the segment BC, which is at D point and the vertex A is joined with that midpoint only. And that is why AD is a median. Now, as we have seen what are medians, one question comes to my mind is how many medians a triangle can have? So as we know that there are three sides, there are of course three midpoints and there are three possible medians. Now, next question is do the medians always intersect? And second is do the medians always intersect inside the triangle? So let's find out the answer. Here in this triangle ABC, we can see that D, E, F are the midpoints of AB, BC and C respectively. A, E, C, D and B, F are three medians of this triangle ABC. We can see here that all these medians are intersecting at just one point. Let's name that point as O. Now you can see that even if I am dragging the vertices of the triangle, the intersecting point is not changing all these medians are intersecting as well as they all are intersecting inside the triangle and actually there is one fascinating fact about the intersection points of these three medians but before revealing that fact let's see a few interesting properties of the medians of the triangle first property is each median divided the triangle into two smaller triangles which have same area similarly all the three medians divide the triangle into six smaller triangles that all have same area even though they may have different shapes. So now it's time to reveal the fascinating fact that I was talking about. The thing about the median is that no matter what shape the triangle, all three medians will always intersect at a single point and this point is called the centroid of the triangle which is also known as the center of gravity. As we have seen that all the three medians always intersect inside the triangle. That's why we can conclude that the centroid of a triangle always lie inside the triangle. Also, all the medians are concurrent because they meet at one single point which is centroid. Now let's see some interesting facts related to centroid. One of the facts I have already told you that the centroid is always inside the triangle. Second fact is the centroid is exactly two-thirds the way along each median. Let me put it another way that the centroid divides each median into two segments whose lengths are in the ratio 2 is to 1 with the longest one nearest the vertex. The respective lengths are shown on the medians in the figure. Now it's time to find out the real life applications of the centroid. So actually centroid have lots of construction applications and engineering applications to design things so that minimal stress and energy is used to stabilize a component. For example, I want a triangular table with just one leg. Do you think it is possible for a triangular table to stabilize with just one leg? Actually, the carpenter that is designing uses the centroid of the table because it will be the center of gravity where the table will be balanced and the most stable. Second example could be what if we want to hold a triangular piece of cardboard using a string such that it doesn't tilt in any direction. So let me tell you this fact that this is only possible at just one single point which is called the centroid. So friends, I would suggest to perform this hands-on maths activity at your home and just impress your parents by adding an excellent piece of decor to your sweet home.